Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you three different ways to add dividers to your Notion pages. So let's get started. Let's start by opening an empty Notion page and feel free to follow along as we go. So first we wanted to show you the standard keyboard shortcut and this is by typing three dashes you can get a divider. The other way to get a divider is by typing slash and then divider and then choosing divider. And as you can see, you can layer many dividers as you wish, but this is just the standard divider so that it only comes in one color and it's quite thin. Next, we wanted to show you how to make a divider vertically. To do vertical dividers, we use quotes in order to give the impression that you have a vertical divider. And to do that, we recommend you to make two columns or more and then we will make a quote on this side by typing slash quote. And then here you can put your content. And then on this other side, you can do the same slash quote. And you can also put your contents here. And if you want it longer, you can type shift enter to make this line longer and same on the other side. So this is a great way to add dividers to your page vertically. And in addition, you can even change the color. So if we go to color, you could change it to different colors like this. And you can even change the size from default to large. Next, we wanted to show you a way where you can add dividers using codes. So the first one we wanted to show you is a vertical divider code. And we'll be adding these codes into the description so you can also use them. And you can copy and paste this code to immediately get this divider, but sometimes it's a little bit buggy. So we recommend that you do slash and then equation and choose inline equation. And then we're going to just copy and paste this part that's not in the dollar signs. So if we go here and then slash equation, inline equation, and then we paste it in, you'll see this divider. And if you want to change the color, for example, you can type the color here and you can even change the thickness by adjusting this pixel size here, for example, like this. So the next one we wanted to show you is a horizontal divider. And again, we recommend you to use slash equation to get the equation and you'll be pasting in the part inside the dollar marks. And if we type slash equation and choose inline equation and you can paste it in, you'll notice that now you have a horizontal divider in red. And if you wanted a different color, you can also adjust it here and change the width using this part. So if you put, for example, 40, it's gonna be very thick. So that's how you can use a horizontal divider using codes. So that's the basics of using dividers in Notion. We hope that this was helpful for you. Let us know if you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video, and we hope to see you in the next one.